Recording in progress. Hello, 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 hello. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Hello, thank you. Nice. Thank you for being on time. Osmin. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, Osmin. Thank you. You are at home right now. Yes, exactly. Okay, so I have some messages right here. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's see. Hello, Angela. Thank you for your camera, okay? Hello, uh, good evening. Good evening, good evening. And where is the rest of the people? My goodness. I just see Osmin and, and Angela and the rest. Oh my God. Yes, yes. Let's see Ophelia, Adri, Darwin, Ernesto. Hello, Ophelia. Hello, Darwin. Where are you? We don't see you. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Today uh -huh. only, only listening. Come on. That's not. That's not that that that's not you, uh, Darwin. Come on. Okay, so Voy we have... a el aguinaldo. <laughs> yeah, you have to spend. So we we were like waiting for the for the delivery that we were expecting at home, but nothing right. Uh, the next Sunday. Next Sunday. Next Sunday, ya va a ser pobre otra vez. Ya no va a tener el aguinaldo. <laughs> ya se lo va a ver gastado. <laughs> The second bonus. Ah, okay. You have an extra bonus? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll see. So, Angela, hay que seguir esperando, Angela. Okay. Ah, yo ahorita estaba ya en la puerta esperando el delivery de Sir Carby. 
Por eso y... no me conectaba, por eso Ajá. venía corriendo ahí estudiando lo que Sí, no, yo también, yo estaba esperando ahí, pero perdí las esperanzas. So... <risa> qué molesta, qué molesta me va a decir el compañero ahí, qué me molesta. Sí. Es, es víctima de las circunstancias, el pobre Darwin. Sí, cabal. <risa> Okay, yeah, yeah. now we have Ada Patricia, we have Michelle, nice. We have Ernesto. Why you put an Ernesto today? Ernesto, uh, Gloria Elizabeth, nice. Well, so today is Wednesday, right? Wednesday the 8th. <laughs> Let's see, Sulma, we are here, but I don't see your camera. Osmin, what happened with your camera? Osmin, Ophelia. Darwin, what happened with you? That's, that's, that's for real. Thank it's you, real, teacher. Where are you, Darwin? Where are you? Are Creo you... Que está preparando el delivery, teacher. Mm -hmm. Are you <laughs> at home? No. So where are you? In this moment, in other place. In other place, but where Not exactly? <laughs> yeah. Por ahí. Mm -hmm. Se nos está descarriando Darwin. Ya ven cómo es lo que yo les digo. El dinero cambia a las personas. No, teacher, no. Y lo podía haber creído de cualquier persona, pero Darwin, yo pensé que iba a ser diferente. Pero ya ven. El dinero cambia a las personas. Ya la persona tiene cuando, cuando tiene ya dinero, ya todos somos insignificantes, ya ni cámara, pues ya no somos dignos de ver la cámara de Darwin, porque otro nivel ya. Hasta comprando. Otro level. <laughs> My goodness. So. We are waiting for the rest still. We need uh, more participants. Um, my God, it's Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. We need to wait two dates more, okay? Two dates more. Oh my goodness, but we have to, we have to do it, okay? We can do it, it's not easy, but we have to. I haven't drink coffee today. My goodness. Hoy se me voy a estar durmiendo. Me tienen que dar un, una pellizcada. No tomé café. Ay, puchita. Yeah, I didn't drink coffee. In the Por coffee. esperar el delivery, teacher. Dijo, ah, no, sí, sí. No voy a tomar me café, a dije yo, porque bueno, el delivery el de... pueda que traiga un, un buen café. Esto, ¿Cómo se llama un el es, café? Bueno? Un Starbucks. Probably, I have a star. Descending the, the, the coffee cup. The coffee ah. cup. No, we need a Starbucks. We want Starbucks. Yo creo que eso anda con. No, no, Starbucks, no. <laughs> I like uh -huh. the coffee cup. I, I like coffee cup as well. But right now, I need a Starbucks coffee. Nah. Okay, so let me start with the attendance. Well, estoy esperando que ingresen algunos más eh, para el attendance, pero no vienen, no vienen. Oh. Anyway, so I have to pass the attendance and we will see at, the, uh, uh, at night, right? Let's see, today is Wednesday the 8th. Aquí está. No encontraba el día, aquí está. Okay, um, let's see, Ada Patricia. 
present. Thank you, Adriana. Stephanie. Stephanie, I saw you. Pareció ver que estaba aquí, no? Adri. Ana Michelle. Present, present. Thank you, Angela. Present, teacher. Thank you, uh, Sir Ayala. Hoy no le voy a poner asistencia a Sir Ayala porque no tiene cámara. Flor de María. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, yes. <laughs> uh, Flor, Flor, Flor. No, ella no ha entrado aún, no la he visto. Eh, Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Thank you. Uh, Joana Patricia. No. Lourdes uh, Beatriz. Present. Thank you, Lourdes. Um, Margarita Stephanie. No. Mayra Melanie. No. Uh, Nelson Edgardo. No. Ofelia Orellana. Here, teacher. Thank you, Ofelia. Osmi Baires. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafael Ernesto. Rosa Elena. Rosa Elena, it's not here. Sandra Gladys. Sandra Gladys. No. Susana Carolina. No. Uh, Jancy Lisbeth. Present. Thank you, Jancy. And Sulma Rosaura. Present. Okay, thank you. Nice. So, Adri, you are here, right? Adriana Stephanie. No. Thank you, Adri. So I already put the attendance. Es que ya la había visto, pero no me respondió al inicio. But I know you are here. Okay, nice. Uh, well, let's start. Okay, so we are going to start the unit number four today, and we are going to do uh, at least the first um, exercise that we have for the unit, okay? Do you know how do you say like the famous um, game? Yeah, it's a game for Christmas. Ya han jugado ustedes eso que le llaman in Spanish amigo secreto. Yes. Yes, teacher. So how do you say amigo secreto in English? Have you ever? Secret friends. <laughs> Secret friends. <laughs> Prime uh, seekers. Uh -huh. How do you say amigo secreto in English? Ahorita, teacher. Amigo secreto. Ajá. Uh -huh. One moment, teacher. Ah, pero tendría que ser. Aquí está. Secret friend. Well. A secret uh, friend is if you translate it right from Spanish uh, to English, but normally, normally we say uh, secret Santa. That's how we call it, okay? Secret Santa, secret Santa. So, secret Santa. Yeah, that would be amigo secreto in English, right? Secret Se Santa. Oh, secret Santa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, are you going to play Secret Santa with your friends or with your family or with your 
co-workers? Do you like the game? Uh, yes, and in my work, um, rarely. <laughs> Sometimes you play, right, in your job. Yes. So, uh -huh. but that is, that's not like a fair game sometimes, right? So sometimes you spend a lot of money in the present that you are going to give to somebody else. And when the activity comes, try and you exchange the presents and everything. So you receive something that you don't really like it, right? So every time that you play uh, Secret Santa, you need to have a wish list. You know what is a wish, wish list? Wish list. What is wish, what is wish list? Una what lista is, de deseos. There oh. you go. That is a wish list. Wish list. Okay. Wish Every list. time that you play Secret Santa, you have to create a wish list. And that way the person will know what you want. Okay. And also you have to put the budget. Okay. For the present. Okay, no puede quedar un Secret Santa así como que a lo que sea, porque va a venir uno con un carro, ¿verdad? Del año, y va a venir otro con un churro de una cora, right? So, uh, that's why you have to put a budget, okay? So, you have to uh, set up like a budget for the present and create the wish the wish the wish list right y ahí se pone yo quiero tal cosa como han dicho digamos que va a ser de de 10 a 20 dólares un ejemplo right entonces usted tiene que ver algo que usted quiera que valga ese precio right so and you put it in the wish wish list and the person who has your name so they can see the 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 present that you want Así que eso tienen que hacer cuando jueguen el Secret Santa. If not, ahí le van a salir a usted con un, un lápiz. Un lápiz y usted va a regalar algo, un teléfono. <laughs> But well, so that's, that's something really, really common in these days, right? So, my goodness, Lady Salgado, it's coming. Hello, uh, Rosa Elena, how are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Have you ever played Secret Santa, Rosa Elena? Uh, no, no. Do you like it? Mm, actually not. <laughs> Because of the, the process. But Be in the past, I, I played. Okay, so that's what we are talking, right? Because sometimes you spend $50 in a present and you receive a two dollars present <laughs> but but at the company we have the option to say what we want aha uh -huh. that's what we are saying right that we really need to have a wish yes. list mm -hmm. okay yes. so in that way yes right so but, we can but i didn't play because nobody is going to give me a charm of pandora <laughs> Nada le pide, right? Nada, nada más. Una pandorita. That is expensive, right? It is really expensive. Oh my God. I held one because when I was when I were was working in Telefónica and I I tuve, I I got, got I got I got 10 years. They give me, gave me, they mm -hmm. gave me a Pandora. That's the way that because I have one. <laughs> okay, that's why you have one. Yes. Yeah. And how much it is Pandora? Yeah. The oh complete my. first? Oh my God, around $500. With, and with about five charms. Charms. <laughs> and just one charm? How much it is? $110. One hundred and ten. And depends mm -hmm. the of the material. Uh -huh, if it depends. Is gold or silver or rose gold. Uh -huh. it's yes. Expensive. And which mm -hmm. one is the most expensive one? The. Oh my god. <laughs> rose gold. <laughs> <sighs> my goodness! My goodness! So, that's the, the that's what I want for. 
a Christmas present. Nah, nah, that's not true. I don't want that one. That's too much. So, but it's nice. It's they are they are beautiful, right? Well, Nelson, it's right here with the Christmas tree in the yeah, back. <laughs> Good evening, good evening. So now you know that if you play Secret Santa, you need to set up the budget and also uh, create the wish list, okay? And that way you will receive what you want. Si no, ahí le van a llevar un churro de cora. Okay, so be careful with this. Ya están jugando eso, entonces hay que saber que no lo vayan a engañar. Okay, so let me share the screen. We are going to work with the book. The last unit that we have, it's with the book. Do you know, uh, Lady Salgado, you are, you are the same, even if you're, you have money or if you, you don't have money, you are the same. But let me tell you that someone that you know who East. Now that he is sir with a lot of money, now he doesn't have camera. He is doing something else. It's so yeah, yeah. This is the first time. Okay, this is the first time in almost a year that he is without camera. So you see, many change it, the people. Yeah. yeah. Maybe he's celebrating something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. It's only listening. He's not even listened. He's not even listened, but that's the way it is. So what we can do? Money change people. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. It is like that, unfortunately. Um, many change people. Okay. Let me see. Okay, so you can see the screen right now. So we are going to work with the unit number four. Okay, so we will be like working on this. So probably on Monday, Tuesday, we finish the unit number four. So that means that on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, the only thing that we will have to do is do like recaps and also um, and also uh, the final quiz, right? The final quiz, that is something that we have to complete uh, next week, okay? So uh, let's see the name, the name of this uh, unit number four, it's uh, session fixed okay what is that you do you have any idea what is that i was i was looking at that work and mm -hmm. is is the assessing assessing mm -hmm. is the jerome of the bird assess mm -hmm. it means that it means that how oh. um calculate or estimate the price or value of something mm -hmm. or, or set the value or a, of a tax fund i don't know maybe evaluando el riesgo i don't know mm -hmm. that is the way right like evaluación de riesgo assessing Risks, right? Eso sería evaluación de riesgo. Okay. So, as I told you, those are the topics that we have to cover. And it is nice in a way because we learn. And besides that, we get uh, new words, right? We get new vocabulary, something that probably we don't really see every day, but we have to, we have to, um, use those words sometimes in Spanish, okay? So, and it says right here, unit number four, I will be able to describe risks and hazards at my workplace. So what is these hazards? A 
Uh -huh. So it's a danger or a risk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Amenazas, right? Like, like that, right? Riesgo. Okay. So that is okay. that is a hazard. So risks and hazards. Okay. Amenazas, riesgos, cosas que ponen en, en peligro el negocio, en este caso, right? La empresa, la company, the, 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 the business. Okay. So, um, yeah, that would be this great reads, rich, reads. Reads, that's the pronunciation. Reads and hazards at my workplace. So we need to know where we go. And even even in in Spanish, uh, we need to know like the for example something very simple that sometimes we don't know. We are in the office or we are inside of our a work area. I don't know if you have an office or if you are in a room or if you are in a specific place, right? But um, you need to know where you are. So for example, do you know what is like the emergency exit in your workplace? Let's see, Anna Michelle. Do you know what is the emergency exit in your workplace or in your work area? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, well, some exit are toward uh, escaleras de uh, incendio. <laughs> Okay, so those are the emergency stairs. Stairs. Yes. Okay. Emergency stairs. Okay, so that's important, right? So that is something regarding the an emergency or something right in your workplace or where you work, right? So you need to know. What is the emergency exit in the emergency area? Okay, uh, have you ever seen that in in inside of buildings or something? They have a big circle like in the floor, so they have uh, sometimes it's like green, sometimes it's like yellow, but it says right there, uh, point contact. Okay, so that's. The, the, the point contact, punto de encuentro, this is right, so point contact. So that means that that is the area in case if something happened, in case of an emergency, the idea is go uh, to that place. Sometimes, I don't know why, but sometimes it's the emergency area and you see many teams near to, right? No parece muy seguro, pero ahí es el punto de... Encuentro, right? So that's the way it is. So let's see number one. It says, let's start. Uh, have you ever heard the term risk assessment? Have you ever heard? Let's see, Nelson Edgardo, have you ever heard uh, the term risk? Mm. Yeah, risk assessment says, right? Um, in my workplace, uh, yes, because um, the area is only a uh, keep electronics, and that's that's it. Uh, there are um, system control, uh, special the fire, the fire. Okay. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, in system is gas, I don't know where, but it's special because no affect uh, thin electronics, no damage the electronics, because when, when activity uh, the system in um, the protect equipment, uh, no, dam no damage in the electronic, only fire and they're off. Okay, okay, and that is something that, that what you mentioned is uh, important. So 
we will talk about rich, rich, but in in business, right? So in this case, I'm talking about like uh, like a warning that we need to know, right, where we are, even at home, not not only in your workplace. So even even at home, so you need to know where is the safe area at home, where is the the area where you can go out in case if something happened. So here in El Salvador, you know, like an earthquake, that is really common, right? So we can have an earthquake today, right now. So what we are going to do? Ustedes solo van a ver que corro yo. Yo van a quedar los headsets aquí colgados, right? So, and I will be out. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm scared of that. I don't know why. I, I don't run, okay? No soy de las personas que salen corriendo. Yo, yo al contrario, yo me quedo inmóvil. Okay? So, but... Yo sí corro, teacher. Oh, my goodness. So, solo vamos sí. a ver a Angela. Eh, ni le voy a decir nada, yo corro. Es algo, es algo que me da. Ajá, una, una, una <laughs> reacción, right? That's a normal, una a real reacción. reaction. Okay, mm -hmm. so, but um, we are Reactions talking about, bad, yeah, for uh, surviving, right? So we are talking Survive. about this because it's not exactly the topic because the topic is about the risks of a business, right? But we are talking about this because it's related, right? It's related in case if something happened, an emergency or something. So you need to know what to do, where to go, what, what, will be the, the safe area, right? So at, at the, at the um, office or your building where you are, so you should have like a, an area, safe area, you need to have like emergency, um, how do you say in Spanish that? Extinguishers, right? Extinguidores, right? The extinguishers. So you need to know where they are in case of a fire, fire. So you need to know, okay, where you are going to get help, okay? The same story at home. So Teacher. I don't know. Yeah, Darwin. Oh my goodness, Darwin, you are here. Teacher, how do you say a splinter in English? What is a splinter? A splinter son unos como extinguidores de techo. Porque, por ejemplo, en mi oficina hay de esos. Son como tuberías que a la hora de percibir el humo se activan. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I don't even. That's the first time that, that I listen que se llaman así esas cosas. So, I don't know, probably they are like emergency. I don't know, no sabía ni que así se llamaba en, en español. So, but I guess that is the mark, the, like the brand, no. In, in my company, así le llaman splinter. Pero no somos sensores de humo. Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay. Those are like a small, a small, yes, small uh, uh, sensors or uh, yes, sensors. Mm -hmm. See, no, I don't know. I don't know. That's as I told you. For me, a splinter is something else. But those are like uh, sensors, the emergency uh, gadgets that are in the office or in the building. So in case of, of, of an emergency, right? So, well, have you ever heard about this term, risk assessment? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hoy como nadie tiene cámara, no hay a quien preguntarle. Ada Patricia, Ada Patricia, um, have you ever heard the term risk assessment right here? Have you ever heard? I am, I am point contact is a, in the in the job. So you do you do have a point contact in your job? Yes. 
Okay, okay, that's nice, right? We, we should know it, okay? So, aún en la casa, nosotros deberíamos de saber a dónde voy a salir in, in case of an emergency. So, we need to have like a backpack or something ready just to pick it out, right? But we don't really do it, okay? Normalmente nosotros no hacemos eso, no preveemos, right? But we should, we should do it because as I told you here in El Salvador, it is really, really famous, normal or famous to have earthquakes, right? So deberíamos tener, de tener un bolsón ahí listo solo de agarrar in case of an emergency, right? But well, let's see. Uh, let's see, what do you think it means? So rich assessments, as we mentioned, is riesgos, right? Riesgos de producción, riesgos de operatividad. So, y, uh, to, hablando de una empresa, right? So, toda la empresa, toda empresa quiere ganar. Esa es la idea, hacer negocio, hacer dinero, hacer business. But we need to evaluate as well the rates, right? So, what would be something that probably can happen, right? So, we should organ, we should organization designs. Why? I'm sorry. Why should organizations design and be trained to apply one. So companies, they need to be aware about the risks and they need to have an idea how to overcome. So what is overcome? When I say we need to overcome this. Do you have any, any idea about the expression the company needs to overcome? situations what is that other, other is like uh, um superar or um, mm -hmm. like work around right work uh -huh. around mm -hmm. yes that it is like work around like look for different actions Prevenir? No, no, mm -hmm. no, no. there you yeah. go a work around, it's like uh, sacarle la vuelta, decimos nosotros, right? Hay que sacarle la vuelta, es decir que no me afecte, sino que cuando, como cuando dicen, cuando va, yo ya vengo, right? So that is like overcome, right? So you go ahead, you go a step up, okay, of the problems or the uh, risks or uh, assessments, harassments, like, the, the terms that we are using right here. So uh, let's see, exercise two says, uh, two managers are discussing about the risk and harassed uh, at different locations in their company. Read their conversation and take terms to practice. So let's see this conversation between Marcos and Josue. Okay, they are managers. It says Marcos and Josue. It says Marcos. Uh, let me check if the list of hazards and safety, safety uh, measures is complete. Measures for electric shocks, for electric bombs. Yeah, it is. Have you ever uh, finish uh, the first draft for the office safety plan jet. Then Josue says, already Marcos, now I'll work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Then Marcos says, great, I work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much for progress on that. Then uh, Josue says, all right, then I work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk, and the value and risk levels. And then Marco says that sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay, so this is the conversation. Uh, we are going to practice just like one time, okay? 
But first, let's see if we have like uh, new words. In the first one, let me check if the list of hazard and safety uh, measures is complete. Measures for electric shops, for electric bonds. Uh, yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office uh, safety plan yet? Do you have any work that you consider that is new? Hazard. Okay, so this one, hazards. What we say that it is? ¿Qué dijimos que era esa palabra? Riesgos, right? Riesgos, oportunidades, cosas que amenazan con la seguridad de la empresa o del lugar donde se está. Okay, nice. Any other any other work? First, safety, yeah. safety, safety is seguro, right? Safe is seguro, so seguridad. That would be safety, safety, seguridad, and measures. What is measures? Medidas. Medidas, ok. Entonces estamos hablando de medidas o estándares de seguridad. Ok, so que cuenten con las estándares para poder operar, para poder ser una compañía who take into account everything, ok. No es posible que una empresa no sepa dónde está una salida de emergencia, dónde irse en caso de un incendio, dónde está el extinguer, dónde está una manguera de incendios, like those teams, right? So that is something that we have to make sure. Safety measures is complete. Then it says, already Marcos, now I work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. So they are working on a plan, okay? So to report all the problems or uh, incidents that they have. Then Marco says, that sounds great. I work on some ideas of controlling risks because we have made much progress on that, okay? So when you are um, investing money, when you are putting money on something, so you need to, you need to validate, right? That uh, you are going to recover the money. No creo que usted quiera tirar el dinero, saber en, ponerlo en riesgo, right? Y perderlo, right? So you have to make sure. Any work right here? Mm, I guess no. Then it says, great, work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right, I were, uh, then I work on establish the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk levels. New words right here. I'm sorry? Bor, bor. Um, bor. Bor. Where is it? Marcos, second sentence. Okay, great. Oh, some controlling risks because we have made much progress. So which one? First, first. This one reads. Sandra? Sentence appears bore. Bo B O R A. This one born for yeah. electronic born. So that is like quemar, right? Pero en este caso, en el contexto, lo que le está diciendo es que si hay un, una seguridad controlada, algo que controle, si hay un electronic shop, shop, un famoso 
cortocircuito, decimos nosotros, right? So, that is the idea right here, okay? In this case es un electronic board, okay? Una, un incendio eléctrico que haga corto algún cablecito, no sé, corto algo, circuito. right? Eso, así decimos nosotros, right? Cortocircuito. Okay, so we are going to practice. Let me take a screenshot on this. Yeah, I have the screenshot and we are going to create the the idea is to be in pairs. Okay, so we are going to work in pairs and what we are going to do, just practice the conversation. So, Angela with uh, Sandra, Ophelia with Rosa Elena, uh, Lourdes Beatriz with Rafael, Osmin with Susana, Darwin with Gloria, eh, Michelle with Sulma, Nelson with Jancy, and Ada Patricia with Adriana Martinez, okay? So let me open the rooms. We have like three minutes only to practice this small conversation, okay? Then we are going to come back with the questions that we have based on this conversation, okay? So let me open the rooms really quick. Start. Okay. Let me check if the list of hazards are unsafe. You host Okay. Okay. Let me check. Let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Measures for electric shocks, for electric burn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft? for the office safety plan yet? I did, Marcos. I know I I work on the plans for the parking hazard and incident. Great. I work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. I really, I days I know board and establish I the incident probabilities, I the po potential severity, risk and value, and risk level. level. That that sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. You have to say severity. Severity. Severity, yes. Severity. Okay, again, again. Let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Measures of measures for electric shocks, for electric burn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? I really, Marcos, 
I know I I don't work on the plans I for responding after an incident. Great. I'll work on saying on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. I really I de, I work on the stabling I the incident probably at the potential severing the risk value and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay. Okay, now you mark. Okay. I let me check if the list of hazard and stuff safety mega is the problem. Me me I fall electric shocks are for electric group yeah is is how you finish and the fish drives for the offices certificate a plan yeah Michael. already marcus now i'll work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents I know more on the so many ideas on counting, counting risk because I we had no um, made much progress on that. All right, then I'll work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity risk, and risk level. I does some I could. I want to have very thin reality. I be the end of the week. Okay. We want to have everything. Mm -hmm. Want to have everything. 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 Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me check. Oh my god, we have to go. Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, so welcome back to the main room. So I know that some of you were like switching the switching the, the character, right? So y los corté, pero um, we will see, we will see later. We still have some uh, extra activities right here to do, okay? So um, yeah, the idea was practice, right? Let me share the screen one more time. Now we have this uh, pair work, okay? So in the pair work, we have the questions, right? So we have the questions. Let me take an screenshot right here for the questions and we are going to answer. Okay, so but I, I'm going to modify the groups. Vamos a hacer un poquito más grandes, right? Because you work in you work in pairs. Okay, so it says discuss the following questions with a classmate. Okay, so we will see in groups. Okay, let me let me recreate the groups. Instead of have couples, we will have uh, three, four participants per room. Okay, so let's see, yes. Let me recreate it and yes, we will have four, four groups. And what we are going to do is answer the three questions. Okay, the same story, I will give you like four minutes. There are just a few, um, questions there are three questions the ones that you need to answer and that's it okay based on the uh conversation that we just practice okay let me open the rooms and we have four minutes to answer those uh three questions okay then we will be sharing the answers
Pero le dice, ¿tienes tú finalizado el primer ¿Qué borrador? De... ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál? En, la, en el primero, Marcos le dice a Josué. Mm, uh -huh. Porque tiene él, que ya finalizó el, el primer borrador de... No le dice que lo va a hacer. No, por eso, por eso es... Uh -huh. Y Josué le dice, por supuesto, ¿no? Pues ahora sí. está trabajando en el reporte. Como que ya lo hice y ahora está trabajando en el reporte de... No sé qué. Entiendo. Uh -huh. Bueno, yo porque después pone él, Marcos, genial, yo trabajaré en algunas ideas de controlar riesgo porque no tenemos, eh, como que no tenemos hecho mucho progreso sobre eso, algo así. Y le dice... Ajá, en las probabilidades de incidentes. Y potencial. ¿Cuál es el meaning severity? Riesgos uh, severos. Potenciales riesgos severos. Es otra cosa. Porque no han, no han trabajado mucho. Vaya, vemos la tercera. Entonces quedamos que Josué. Sí. En la sí, dos. Josué. En la dos, en la uno y en la dos. No sé qué opinan las demás. Yo, yo estoy confundida. Pienso que en, lo, que en las dos para trabajar. Yo opino que en la primera son los dos y en la segunda es Josué. Sí, yo me siento casi ajá, segura de la segunda que es Josué. Ahorita que es. Ajá. ¿Y de la primera? Bueno, la tercera. Ahí de la primera. Pues la verdad que los dos van a trabajar en el, en el, en el, en el plan de seguridad. Ajá, porque todo eso lleva el plan de seguridad, ¿verdad? Identificar los riesgos. Este, ¿qué más decía que? Evaluarlo, nivel, potencial de severidad. Ajá. Pero Cabán dice que Josué va a hacer el reporte de, de peligros e incidentes. Uh -huh. Entonces, aquí están Josué y Marcos y van a trabajar en el, todo el plan de seguridad. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.
Recording in progress. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's see. Welcome back. So I was in one group here and in, in the phone, I was in another group. So, and I uh, listened that you were like, so we have to put like full answer or just uh, a short one. So let me tell you that hitting the book is just a short, really short answer, okay? But we will see. Uh, we will see if um, we, we have the answers, okay? Uh, let me share the screen one more time. Mm. What happened? Okay, here we go. Let's see. My goodness, I have to pass the attendance. Well, but let's finish this, okay? Uh, let's see, Susana Hernandez. Uh, number one, please read the question and tell us your answer. Okay. Who has worked on the office safety plan? It's Josue. He works in the office safety plan. Okay, yeah, Josue, right? Josue has. Josue is the one that works on the office uh, safety plan. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see. Gloria, Elizabeth, number two, please. Okay. Who works on the plan to report hazard and incident? Uh, it's, Josue, it's Josue. Okay, Josue will, right? So Josue will, the, the question is like in future, right? Who will work, okay? Quien va a trabajar en eso, right? So Josue will work on the plan to report hazards and incidents. Nice. And the last one will be for um, uh, Gloria, please. Uh, let's see, Glor uh, Rosa Elena, please, number three. Number three, uh, what is an area of the risk assist assessment process in which the managers haven't progress much? Controlling risk. Perfect, risk control, right? So that is the, 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 the area, right? The area in which they have issues. They are, or they are like not sure about it, right? Because they don't know, okay? So that is the area in which they have um, pending, right? The process, okay? That will be the rich control or con yeah, rich control. Nice. Okay, let me pass the attendance, my goodness. 10 minutes late. Uh, let's see, Ada Patricia. Present. Thank you, Adriana Stephanie. Present. Thank you, Anna Michelle. Present. Thank you, um, Angela Present. de Jesus. Present, teacher. <laughs> Thank you, Angela. Darwin Edgardo, sir. Present, Ayer. teacher. Okay, so no. Flor de Maria. Flor de Maria, no, right? Uh, Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Thank you. Joanna Patricia. Lourdes Beatriz. I'm here. Thank you. Margarita Stephanie. Mayra Melanie. Nelson Edgardo. Present teacher. Thank you. Ofelia Orellana. Osmin, Osmin Baires. Present teacher. 
Thank you. Rafael Ernesto. Present. Thank you, Rosa Elena. Present. Nice. Sandra Gladys. Present. Thank you, Sandra. Nice to have you here, Sandra. We missed you yesterday, right? Susana. Yes. Okay, Susana Carolina. Present. Thank you, Susana. Jancy Lisbeth. Present. Thank you, um, uh, Sulma Rosaura. Present. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Nice. Okay, we are going to finish the second part, right? The second part of the class. So we will do something that probably we are not familiar with. Okay, but we will try. Okay, we will try to uh, look for those words. Okay, so let me. So you don't see the screen right now, right? No, no estoy compartiendo. Yo pensé que sí, pero no. So let me let me share the screen one more time. So we will do this, okay? But we will do like a small uh, presentation on this, okay? So I know that probably we don't uh, we we don't really um, manage the, the the these terms, okay? These words, but at least, okay, we need to know the meaning, right? So the meaning of this. So we will see first the building vocabulary. We are going to match these terms related to training and personal development to their meaning, okay? And we will check the answers, okay? Then we are going to do this, so the brainstorm. Do you know what is a brainstorm, right? So, so ya lo habíamos visto esa palabra. Let me take a screenshot of this as, on this as well. So what we are going to do, brainstorm examples or workplace hazards related to each of the categories in the chart. Okay, so that's not easy, right? So because we are not really familiar with, but we will try. So I guess we will keep the same the same groups, okay? First, we need to match, okay? Match, you know, that is look for the meaning and the work, okay? So you need to see the words right here and put it together with the uh, meaning, okay? The idea that you consider that is the meaning of that, okay? Um, that's what we are going to do and this will be the last activity, okay? So, Let's do the exercise number four first, okay? Solo hay que buscar ahí el meaning de cada una de esas palabras, okay? So in this one, the brainstorm, so we will mention, okay? No lo vamos a hacer así tan como lo, lo pide acá because um, we are not really familiar with, okay? So, but we can look for these words, okay? At least... Vamos a buscar el meaning de estas palabras, ¿ok? El meaning de estas palabras para que veamos uh, what, what we are talking about, ¿ok? So, but first, let's start with this one, ¿ok? The number four, ¿ok? So, number four, put it together, ¿ok? Let me open the rooms one more time. We will see uh, the same rooms, ¿ok? No los vamos a mover. Con lo mismo se va a quedar. So, let me open the rooms right here.
have, for example, for example, potential to be dangerous and to cause harm. Harm. For me, oh, oh, oh. for me, that that is the meaning of risk. 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 Because in the dictionary, risk a situation involving or involving exposure exposure to danger mm. or expose someone or something value to danger harm or loss for me the last word is risk potential, potential to be danger uh -huh. potencialmente para ser peligroso a causa, o causar daño okay. yes this power. for me it's, it's this and Remember. another that i have is Irrevers irreversible damage is the number one in the list. Consequence or damage that is so serious that is impossible to undo. Daño irreversible. irreversible. Mm -hmm. The number mm -hmm. two. Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, something what do you think of hazard? Hazard in the is danger, is peligro. Is peligro. I meant to put this on. I meant to put this on. Protection. Change. Hazard could it be the number uh, one, two, three, four, the number four, like likelihood of harm in a specific circumstance. Likelihood is probability, and the meaning of hazard is a change. Change probability. Um, a danger of or risk. Probabilidad de daño en cualquier específica circunstancia. Eso para mí es hazard. What do you think, Nelson?
sorry, I microphone off. Uh, safety measure is saying armed to protect someone, something from a household situation. Está hecho para prevenir peligro de algún. Yes, number four. Yes. Number four. Yes. For sure. Tenemos el uno, dos, cinco y cuatro. Number three, expert, es peligro también. Exposición, exposición, exposición. Está expuesto. For me, number three is exposure. Protected from something dangerous or unpleasant. Un simple, yeah. Exponerse. Exponerse. Exponerse en algunas cosas peligrosas. For me, it's unprotected. Yes, it's correct. And number six is procedure to prevent something yes. dangerous from happening. Uh, exactly. Precaution. Okay. Eh, bueno, quedó así. Number five, four, six, two, two three, three, one. One, yes. Okay. Precautionary, precautionary, precautionary. Can you repeat, please, Nelson? The order. Five, four, six, two, three, one. Thank you. Okay, uh, welcome back. I don't know if the time was enough for you to complete the, the match activity, but we will see. Um, yep, yeah, here it is. So, as I told you, probably we are not really familiar with this. We don't even know some words even in Spanish, right? So, but 
that didn't uh, learn new words, new vocabulary, right? So let's see, we will start with um, Angela, please, number one. Freeze. Espero no estar soñando que me está preguntando, teacher, porque ya me estaba durmiendo. Uh -huh. eh, number one, consequence or damage that is so serious that is, is impossible to, to end up. ¿Cómo se pronuncia ese teacher? Eh, lo último. Impossible to un, undo. 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 Mm -hmm. Ok. Impossible to undo is number five and irreversible, irreversible damage. 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 Hmm. damage. Yeah. So right here you have like number five, right? Yes. So number, number five. Number five is reversible damage that would be the consequence or damage that it's so serious that it's impossible to undo. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, let's see the next one. It's correct, teacher. Yeah, it is correct. So right here okay. is number five. Okay. Osmin, Osmin, this one, please. Okay, uh, number two. I meant to protect someone, something from a hard house situation. Is mm, number six. Okay. Number six is precautionary. Okay, precautionary. Yes, number six, aim to protect someone, certain team from hazardous situation. Okay, yeah. nice. Uh, the next one, Adri, Stephanie. Okay, procedures to prevent something dangerous from happening. And number four, Safety measure. Perfect. Measure. That's the one. Safety measure. Okay. Safety measure. So that is the procedure to prevent something dangerous from happening. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Darwin. I don't know if you are here. Darwin, the next one, please. Okay, teacher. Likelihood of harm in specific circumstances is number one, risk. Perfect, yeah, risk. That's the one. Like, uh, like likelihood of harm in a specific circumstances. Okay, nice. The next one. The next one it's for uh, Lourdes. I don't know if Lourdes Beatriz. Hello. Yes, thank you, Lourdes. The next one, this one. Okay. Unprotected from something dangerous or unpleasant. Um, Safe to me. Mm. That one we already used that one. So mm. that will be exposure. Okay, exposure. Oh, okay. Number three. Number three. That will be uh, unprotect from something dangerous or unpleasant. Nice. Okay. Thank you. The last one. Let's see. Sandra Gladys. Uh, seven, six. 
Potential to be dangerous and to catch hard. Mm -hmm. Hard. Um, we have just one option. Um, two. There you go, number two, right? Hazard. Potential to be dangerous to harm, caused harm, okay? So nice. So even though we don't know the words, so you get it, right? So son palabras bien técnicas, right? They, they are like techy words that we don't really use those words in real life, but still, right, still. Um, those are like like the, the 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 steps right the words that we are learning in this model and it's nice because we are getting techy words okay so let's do something really quick okay so i know it's late i know that we are tired and i know that it's a lot of themes okay tomorrow please tomorrow be in the class and uh, tomorrow we will see something that is not difficult because it's not difficult but we need to pay attention to get the get the uh the idea have you ever heard about uh, report and speech. Ya he escuchado de eso, report and speech. No? The speech, sí. Report is the same. Uh -huh, but report, if I say the topic report and speech, ya han escuchado sí. eso. Disposition. Mm -hmm. So, una speech es un, how we say in Spanish, una speech es un, un, discurso. un discurso, right? So, un discurso, el que da el president, as an example, right? So, el presidente habla y todo el mundo callado y he's the only talking, right? So, ese es un speech, ok? Cuando usted va a la iglesia, aquí es iglesia y la persona que da la palabra, Habla, ese sería un speech, right? So, usted solo está escuchando atentamente, right? So, tomorrow we will talk about reporting a speech, okay? So, reporting a speech is say what the other person says, okay? We use reporting a speech in Spanish. So, he said, no, es que fíjate que fulano me dijo tal cosa. Right? So you are saying what the other person says. Okay? No lo estoy diciendo yo, sino que yo estoy diciendo lo que otra persona dijo. So that is reporting a speech. But we will see more details uh, tomorrow. Okay? Now, uh, please, your cameras, if you have the chance to put your camera, please turn it on. I want to see you all. So what we are going to do, we will do an activity, okay, to finish the date. So we all have a phone, right? So you do have a phone, we all have a phone. So you have the permission right now to have your phone in your hands, okay? So I guess your phone is in English, right? Espero. Espero, Osmin, that your phone yes, teacher, is yes, in teacher. English, okay? Si está en, en español, se le va a caer la mano, okay? So, it's English, okay? English. So, uh, in the phone, we have different uh, apps or different features. Did you remember que dijimos esa palabra, features? So, look for the gallery, okay? Look for the gallery in your phone, okay? So, go to your gallery. Ojalá no vayan a ver fotos inapropiadas. Verdad, espero que no. Okay, so go to your gallery, okay, where you have your pictures. Espero que no hayan ahí eh, naked pictures. Si no, borre las antes que sea demasiado tarde. 
Okay, so what we are going to do, please choose just one picture, okay? So biases to gallery and scroll down and scroll up. First, and first picture? You are going to choose, I'm sorry, just one picture, okay? I don't know how many pictures do you have, but you just have to choose one. Okay, one picture. Okay, choose just one picture. Just one. Just one. Okay, can be someone, can be you, can be your dog, can be your friend, can be your family. Just let me see. I have many right here. How many? Just any? one. Just any? one. One picture. Okay, well, let me see. <laughs> I have mine. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you see my picture. Creo que sí, right? No sé si se logra mirar. Yes. It's a dog. It's a dog. It's a dog. Okay, so yeah, this is my dog. Okay, it's a female. It's a she. Okay, her name is Adana. Her, a her, her. name. Her name. I say her because it's part of my family. What okay. Is, what is his name? The dog. Teacher? Her name is Her name. Dana. 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 My, Dana Paola. My daughter is is you is se llama Dana. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know that my dog has. Ya se me quitó, pero pero le voy a contar un chiste. Ajá. Tiene, tiene un perrito que ella le ha, bueno es el tercero porque se nos murió uno y se nos perdió uno y entonces ella le ha puesto Danito Danito por, por bueno. Danito porque ella se llama Dana entonces ahí Dana. tenemos a Danito ah, y hoy tiene a Dana tengo, <risa> ajá porque como ella se llama Dana entonces yo le voy a poner Danito a mi perrito y así se llama Danito ok, yeah that's this is my dog and eh, it is mira. Dana Aquí Dana está, Paola, eh, mira, Dana, Dana Paola. Ah. She has two names. It's not just Dana, it's Dana Paola. Dana Paola, okay, Dana, Dana Valeria. <laughs> Dana, Dana Valeria. ¿verdad? Dana Paola, it's my dog right now. She is like three years. Three years, ah, it's, it's, it's small. Yeah, it is small, okay. Yeah. Right here she has short hair but in mm. real life now she's really curly she has curly and long hair okay so but i always could well i always go to the barber for the dogs right the the clinic and the and they cut their hair because it's too much okay and you know that i have a baby so and if i have a a lot of, um, you know, hair from the dog all over the house. So that's not good with the baby. So I always request to cut her uh, hair really short. And uh, well, as I told her, she's three years. It's uh, curling. It's, she has long hair. It is really funny. Okay, it's my dog. I have it, I have hair, I have it since she was like two months, okay, when I received it as a gift, okay, so that's my picture, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, my picture, mm -hmm. A los que no tienen cámara le voy a preguntar. Vamos a ver si están aquí con uh, Let's see. 
Sandra Gladys, Sandrita, ¿y hoy por qué no me ha puesto cámara? Sandrita, si usted wow. siempre me pone cámara, ¿qué le pasa? No me va a ver, teacher. Oh, no my goodness. Where are you? Me eh, voy a enseñar yo mi, mi, mis... ¿Va, de, va en, 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 en el transporte, Sandra? Yes. Pobre los que tienen que mover. Ok, ok, no problem, Sandra, no problem. So, Zulma, Rosaura, share your picture, show us the picture okay. that you choose. Are you um, My picture is a cake. Yes, It's a cake. Yes, I can share it. <laughs> Okay, yeah, and uh, well, share your picture, show us. Boy. Um. Woohoo, be careful with the, oh my goodness, that looks delicious. Yes, we celebrate a uh, birthday today. Whose birthday? Uh, my friend. Okay, that is your friend a uh, birthday. Okay. Yes. And how how old is he or she? I don't know. He. He. Um, twenty five years old. Okay, he is twenty five. Okay, and who bought? The Kate. Sorry? Who bought that cake, that delicious cake? Ah, I I bought the cake. Okay, okay. And it was delicious? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very delicious. I I see right here the little a butterfly. That means that, that that is for a new bake. That's the, a new bakery, right? Um, no, it's a bon bon bakery. Ah, it is bon bon. Okay, so yes. yeah, it is really famous and they are delicious. Yes. Expensive ones as well, okay? Un pastel del bon bon, de bon bon de no crea que barato, okay? So that is expensive one, but it is delicious, okay? Thank you, uh, Sulma, for okay. sharing. Okay, nice. Let's see. Now you can stop sharing. Nice. Let's see. Vamos a ver a quién le vamos a preguntar. Uh, vamos a ver. Susana. No la veo, Susana. Ahí está, Susana. Susana Thank Hernández. You. Ajá. Tell us, what is the picture that you have? Mm -hmm. Are you sharing the screen, Susana? No, miss. Okay, so if you are not able to share the screen, you can just show us the picture. Susana, you are on mute. Hello, hello, Susana. No, I'm trying to, to show you my, my, my screen. So if you don't know how to do it, you can just uh, show us uh, the picture with your phone. There you go, I guess. Uh 
Hmm? So what happened, Susana? Hello, hello, Susana. You are on mute, Susana. Hello. I don't know what happened with Susana. Now you are sharing the screen, but you are sharing the book. So we need to see the picture. Can you see right now? Yeah, we can see your screen, but we want to see, or we need to see your picture. Susana, you have to choose your picture. Tiene que mostrar la imagen de su teléfono. Susana. Oli, oli. I don't know, Susana, if you can hear me, me escucha o no me escucha. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see who's next. Rafael Ernesto. Rafael Ernesto, uh -huh. Okay. Share your picture or show us this, the picture in, in the screen. Let me... Mm -hmm. Ahorita no se ve nada. Not really, not yet. Be careful uh... when you're sharing the screen. Let me... Mm -hmm. eh, vamos, ya la tenía lista. Let me, let me. Ok, let me check, let me check. Now we can see. Oh my God, that's a nice picture. Eh. You have why it says Galeria. Hmm, ya lo vamos a castigar a Rafael. Mm -hmm, Rafael. Why it says Galeria in Spanish? Album. No. So tell us, Rafael, what is that picture about? Um, uh, mm -hmm. um, it's very creative. It is very um, creative. Creative. Uh, it's, it's clean. It is extremely clean. It is mm -hmm. very, how do you say, ordenado? 
everything organizes. fits, organizes, everything organizes, Organize. everything fits the correct uh, place. Okay, is that your room? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Rafael. Nice. Thank you for sharing. Just Rafael switch the language. Okay, ahí logré ver que su teléfono está en español. Okay. So you need to have it in English. So Angela, vamos a ver. Angela, tenemos tiempo para usted todavía. Angela, vamos a ver. Share, share your picture. Share your picture. Teacher en Teacher en inglés lo tengo. But I saw it says it was like ah, gallery. Okay. Yes, the okay, sí, yes. Only the 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 keyboard. Uh -huh, the no, keyboard. Yo lo voy a poner así porque no sé okay. cómo ponerlo, teacher. Okay, let's see. That's no, a lady. Sí. That's a little girl. That's your daughter. Yes, with oh. with a puppy. With the little puppy, with the nito. Nito. Es un bebé. And how old is your baby? How old is your daughter? Yes, it's Dana. How old is she? Yes, eh, eh, I, I have a dog. Eh, ¿Cómo se decía una perrita? Dogs. Eh, like a puppy? She, like a puppy with five. <laughs> you have five dogs? Yes. Oh so they are just new puppies. Yes. They just got born. Yes. Así que ahí tenemos and, la familia. And you're going to keep all the dogs or you are going to sell them or I don't know, give it them away. So you are going to keep all the dogs with you? All the dogs? Eh, mm -hmm. um, ¿Se los va a quedar todos? You ah, no, 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 no. Ya tenemos tres. Uh, tú, o sea, dos machos y la, y la que está, y la que tiene los cinco perritos. Oh, no los vamos a quedar todos. Ya, ya los ya los regalamos. Ok, ok. Y, so imagine cinco perritos más tres más. Dios y le voy a enseñar este que a ver, no sé si se ve ahí. Ya lo van a ver, la ternura. Tomándose su chicha. Mm -hmm. I guess, yeah, we can see it. Again. No sé si se ve. Yes. Creo que no. Más o menos ahí. Yeah. Más o menos es una cosa ahí. Graciosa. Ok, ok. Teacher, una pregunta. Cuando usted dice de poner el, el, yo tengo el teclado en inglés, que por cierto me cuesta escribir en inglés. No, el, eh. but it's not the keyboard. That's not what I mean. So go to your configuración. If you have it in Spanish, it says ajustes o configuración. Ajá, es que yo lo tengo así. Supuestamente, pero uh, es que si sí aparece, sí, verdad? Eh, no, but from there, from your settings, from your ajustes, ahí es donde usted va a buscar la opción de lenguaje. Ah, vaya, vaya, hoy sí, porque en ajustes eh, se va uno a. Tiene, por ejemplo, conexiones, sonidos, notificaciones, pantalla, de pantalla, temas. Creo mm. que es en pantalla. Pantalla. Pantalla, creería yo. Vaya, dice ajuste, eh, brillo, filtro, modo de pantalla, tamaño y estilo, zoom, pantalla, aplicación. Váyase ¿no? hasta abajo. Ok. Creo que hay unas configuraciones especiales que dice idioma. Idiomas y entradas, ajá, correcto. Vaya, idioma, español, aquí lo tengo en español, así es. Uh -huh. Entonces, vamos a cambiarlo a inglés. Vaya, vamos a ver, añadir otro, como añadir dice, ¿verdad? Sí. Estado, English, aquí está. Definir, ajá. 
idioma actual definir predeterminado o como, como porque dice definir inglés como idioma predeterminado I guess ¿Sí? yes uh -huh. I guess okay. yeah. vaya porque yo ahí sí estaba nula no sabía cómo hacerlo ay todo lo tengo en inglés <risa> well, <risa> Ya, welcome, welcome to the reality. Vamos a ver cómo me va. <laughs> yeah, okay. So. Ya, ya está, teacher. <laughs> Bienvenida a su calvario. Mentiras. No, tengo que aprender. <laughs> yeah, you have to. Vaya. You have to. So you, now you have all the apps and hey. everything. Hoy sí, teacher, English. mire. Teacher, teacher. Hoy yep. sí. Todo está en inglés. Quiero ver. Well, so, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Eh, eh, um. <laughs> God bless you. Okay. Osmin, what about you? Osmin, you have your ah, phone pues in eso, English? Eso no sabía hacerlo, este, teacher. No, teacher. Este, lo cambio y lo pongo en inglés. Lo, lo pongo un tiempo y luego lo But why? Why you change it? Chat, no me haga trampa, Oswin. No me haga trampa. You have to keep the phone in English forever and ever. Do not switch back. Okay, so let me pass the attendance. My goodness. Ana, no, espere. Ada Patricia? Present. Thank you. Adri? Present. Nice. Michelle? Present. Thank you. Angela? Present teacher. Thank you, Darwin. Present teacher. Uh -huh. Thank you, Darwin. Uh, Flor de María. Rosita no vino hoy. Eh, Gloria Elizabeth. Joana Patricia. Lourdes Beatriz. Present. Nice. Margarita Stephanie. Mayra Melanie. Mayra Melanie no se conectó. Nelson Edgardo. Present teacher. Nice. Ofelia. Here teacher. Nice. Osmin. Present teacher. Nice. Rafael. Present. Good night. Nice. Good night. Switch the language in your phone, please. Rosa Elena. Present. Okay. Nice. Sandra Gladys. Present teacher. Thank you. Susana Carolina. Jancy Lisbeth. Present. Thank you. And Sulma. Sulma, Sulma, Sulma. Present. Here. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just checking right here something. Okay, so quién se va a quedar hoy conmigo? Ya me acabé la lista. Vamos al reenganche. So, any volunteer? Algún voluntario que quiera desvelarse? Si no, los vamos a, a seleccionar ahí al, al azar. Vamos a ver, se va a quedar eh, Sandra. Sandra Gladys ya llegó a casita. No te echaron uno. No llega. Vamos a ver. Ofelia Orellana. Ofelia Orellana. Usted se va a quedar hoy. Ok. So ya la lista en teoría ya me la acabé. Si alguien no estuvo, pues me lo salté. Pero eh, vamos a hacer el reenganche. Pero no me alcanza para todo. Ya solo quedan. Cinco, seis, siete sesiones, ok. So, ahí voy a ir eligiendo al azar, ok. So, thank you for today. So, please don't forget to be here tomorrow. We will talk about reported speech. And thank you for your time. Today results. Today results. Today results. Hoy sí ya tiene cámara, miren.
Hoy que ya estamos diciendo buenas noches. Teacher, tomorrow present my picture. Okay, tomorrow you are going to present your picture. No les digo pues cómo la gente cambia con el dinero, pero bueno. Así es la vida. Acaba de a llegar a la casa. A picture, ¿verdad? A picture ¿verdad? in the restaurant. ¿Verdad, Michelle? Que no nos engaña. Es yes. que no sé qué, a saber a dónde a andaba parrandeando y ahorita llega casual a la casa. Ya son las 10 de la noche, ya nos vamos y él pone la cámara. Don't worry, be happy. Señor, ¿qué estaré pagando? <risa> qué alumno, Batichel. ¿Qué, qué mal habré hecho en otra vida yo para merecer esto. Ay, no. Hay un Dios que todo lo ve. Ah. Comprando zapatos. Comprando ropa, andados, zapatos. No, es que no pude, no podía esperar hasta el fin de semana para irse a gastar su Christmas bonus. Tenía que ser ya, no podía esperar. I have a dinner with my family. Ah. Oh. Es la mentira. <risa> bueno, ya nos estamos depelando. Sorry. En los so, tres servicios. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay? Mañana okay. lo vamos a castigar a usted, Darwin, por no haber puesto la cámara. Mañana usted se va a quedar castigado. En el banquillo de los acusados. Ok. See you tomorrow. Ok. Bye bye. Take care. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Take care. Bye. bye. Duerman, descansen. Okay, yes. bye. En silla tu morrito, silla tu morrito. Yes. Okay, permítame Ophelia, vamos a... Vamos, 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 espérame que estoy reiniciando mi teléfono porque... No sé qué le pasó a Ofelia. Eh, bueno, no, no le voy a quitar mucho tiempo, Ofelia. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se siente? Mm, me siento bien, escuché. Solo que hay unas cosas que me cuestan verla. Uh -huh. Mire, lo que yo le podría recomendar, Ofelia, es este repasar. Repasar como... No sé si usted ha llevado sus anotaciones de módulos anteriores, pero este puede usted repasar sus apuntes, puede, ustedes tienen acceso, creo yo, a, a, la, a, plataforma. a la plataforma. Sí. Eh, sería bueno, yo sé que usted trabaja, ¿verdad? Yo soy paso ocupada, pero, pero tal vez el fin de semana, cuando usted tenga un espacio, métase a eh, revisar la plataforma, pero de los módulos anteriores, ¿verdad? Para ver ahí un repaso, este, gramática más que todo, puede buscar en internet, algunos ejercicios básicos de gramática, hay quizzes, puede buscar un, usted un examen de, mate, de gramática básica para que usted vaya practicando, vaya nivelando eh, su... Su, su, su idioma, pues el idioma inglés, esto, acuérdense que solo con la clase a veces no es suficiente, ¿verdad? Hay que tratar de buscar extra y yo sé, como les digo, que les cuesta bastante porque pues si no pasan en la casa sin hacer nada, ¿verdad? Sino que vienen de trabajar cansados, pero... Eh, es algo que necesitamos hacer y lo tengo que hacer yo porque no lo puede hacer el vecino, ¿verdad? Por mí. Pero sí, les recomiendo que haga eso, ¿verdad? Cuando usted tenga un espacio, un tiempito, su teléfono ya lo anda en inglés. No lo he podido configurar, ahí lo he estado haciendo, pero no, no, me, no sé en qué. Porque me fui ahí en ajuste como lo estaba haciendo. Uh -huh. ¿Qué opciones le okay. aparecen ahí? Me parece redes, móvil, más de conexión, pantalla principal de fondo, eso. pantalla de brillo, sonido, notificaciones, datos de, de contraseña, aplicaciones, baterías, almacenamiento, seguridad, 
-huh. Acceso, ubicación, equilibrio, funciones y accesibilidad y cuentas de Gmail. Uh -huh. A ver si me parece, pero no sé. Y no tiene uno que le diga pantalla. Uno dice pantalla principal y fondo, dice. Y uno dice pantalla de brillo. Deje ver, ¿cómo es que me aparece a mí aquí? Ajá, en pantalla. No, no es en pantalla. ¿Qué teléfono es el suyo, dice? Huawei. Huawei. Additional settings. Ok, no tiene una opción que dice ajustes adicionales. No, adicionales no. Ahora funciones de accesibilidad, dice. Sistema de actualización. Saneamiento, aplicaciones. Notificaciones, sonidos, pantalla de brillo, pantalla principal y fondos. ¿De ahí donde dice pantalla principal? Vale. Aquí me parece ajuste de pantalla principal y fondo de pantalla. ¿Y ahí en ajuste de pantalla principal qué le da? Mejor me da bloquear di diseño, alineación automática, desplazamiento de pantalla uh -huh. principal. Uh -huh. sí. Entonces no, no es ahí porque por lo menos a mí me aparece aquí como... Eh, dentro de los ajustes display que sería pantalla pero hay uno que dice ajustes adicionales y ahí está language bueno le vamos a lo vamos a buscar en, en qué modelo de, el, de modelo de Huawei es para el buscarle modelo. los pasos uh -huh. Ok, bueno, lo voy a buscar, ahí en internet se encuentra, o usted lo puede buscar, cómo cambiar el idioma en un Huawei 9, lo que usted tiene, y ahí sí. le van a aparecer los pasos, porque sí, usted necesita practicar, usted necesita leer, usted necesita ver el idioma, estar ahí on the top of everything with the language, ok, so, vamos a, vamos a buscar, a ver, me acuerdo mañana, Gracias. Para darle los, los pasos, si no los ha encontrado usted. Este, Gracias. pero bien, sí, ya, thank you for your time. Gracias por quedarse y Gracias. nos saludamos el día de mañana, primero Dios. Gracias. Gracias. Buenas noches. Thank you. Buenas noches. Gracias. Buenas noches.